show that to you but I am gonna show you how to put a turf in the ground so we have a small area here that my husband just um, it's a freshly rick my husband just rick it just now and to, just to make sure that the, the ground is um, evenly flat so the turf will grow healthy we gonna do that to avoid air underneath the turf just to make sure that the bottom of the turf really lay in the ground so this is a small project we are both rookie but we really did our homework we did a lot of video and then the guy that delivered the turf gave us some instructions so we are gonna do it together guys okay so we are gonna start here in the top first and we're gonna do this like how you do the bricks like not really level at each other and you have to make sure that the turf is really close to the edge and the next side they're really close at each other can you explain it babe you want to butt it right up against the edge and tuck it under you don't want any overlaps and separation between the pieces of sod and you want to stagger them like bricks so we'll cut the next lane in half so the seams don't butt up directly against another seam otherwise the water will drain right through there and go around the sod rather than under the sod so that all the grass gets watered <clears throat> perfect so this is the area that we're gonna do guys it's not that big but uh, we start to grow seeds but it did not work because it rained so hard and all the seeds get um, flooded so we just decided to do the shortcut and do the turf so let's start guys bring the sod woman bring the sod <laughs> bring the sod woman
okay if you do the turf you also need a sharp big knife or something like that a hatchet hatchet and cut it in order for you to make some like a uh, brick brick look like that as you can see you cannot really see much the seam so actually what you want a full one here because that was a half is this half yep see i cannot even tell if it's half or not <laughs> you did a great job babe i cannot see the seams we'll just leave these two here yeah save that for the next layer now a full one there um we prefer this one it's already sliced it's so much easier for us so it's up to you if you want to get the roll or the slice one which what did the guy said about the roll in this well he didn't say anything but um i like the slice i think it's easier to install than the rolls but either one i've never done a roll so i shouldn't speak at a turn <laughs> yeah so this is um this area that we are making is 500 square feet am i right babe yep so this is 500 square feet and we get a one whole pallet of grass what kind of grass is this this is zeon so this is zeon it looks kind of looks like a almost looks like a bermuda Zion. Zion Zolcia. Zion Zolcia. I'm gonna put the this in the description below what's the, the right spelling. It's very popular in northern Germany. Okay, so we order this. We order this turf from North Georgia turf. North Georgia turf. Very good people to deal with. What was that, Feb? Excellent people to deal with. Heather in the office is a sweetheart. And the delivery guy was very informative, and it got here at 7.30 a.m., fresh from the field. Good stuff. <laughs> Highly recommend this company. Yeah, they're good people. North Georgia Golf Turf. <laughs> be a better way to make a living. But if you love it, it's fun. Well, I don't particularly love it. Yeah, I mean, for those people who love it. No, it's not a work for them. It's that is true. Mm. for them. It's fun. For us, it's fun if it's like just like this, a uh, small project. A hundred square feet.
As you can see, there's not, there's no more turf, and this is our project. We are now watering it, and unfortunately, we're short of a few slices of turf. Now we are torn between um, buying a turf from Home Depot, maybe or Lowe's, if we can find this exactly the same kind of turf, or either buy seeds, or we have seeds. Um, put seeds and grow the grass so we will make a decision later but that's it after you lay the turf you need to water them very well like twice a day you don't um, it's not good if you will water the turf when the Sun is already out so it would be better if you water the turf before the Sun's out and after the Sun's down so this is a 500 square feet area and we order one whole pallet and we're kind of short so just a very few slices. it's not really bad and we are very happy with the turf everything was great we only find one slice that it's kind of um that there's no more dirt in the bottom but it's fine because it was in the very bottom so it was um shaken from the trip so that's it guys we will give you an update after this if we can decide which way we will we will go either buy a few slices of turf or grow seeds i mean put seeds and grow the grass so we are now watering our turf it would be better if you have a big area it would be nice if you have a uh, water irrigation underneath but this is not a big area so we just got this um, sprinkler here what do you think babe uh, I think it looks good it looks like a carpet <laughs> want to thank the people at North Georgia turf for providing us quality turf great service Heather, thank you. And I believe the delivery guy's name was Steve. I'm not sure about that, but uh, whoever the delivery guy was, you were great also. So thanks again to NG Turf. North Georgia Turf. So if you are around this area in North Georgia, you can check that company. They're very famous. They're out of Calhoun, Georgia. They're in Calhoun. But they, but they have four locations throughout Georgia, so good stuff. But this Zeon, they said, is the most popular for this area of North Georgia. Um, okay. So that's it. We will give you an update if what we will decide in that spot there. Either grow seeds or buy a few slices. Just want to show you my small flower garden here. My azalea is already blooming. And then this, I really love this. It really smells good. It really smells smells good. And lately, after we have these flowers, we found a lot of butterflies visiting our area here. So I have few here that have not planted yet. I don't know where to put them. So I actually built this um, like 
wall because that's the rocks that they found when they dig the foundation of our cabin so I take advantage of the rocks because if you buy rocks they're very expensive so why not use the rocks <laughs> from underground look at that it's beautiful there's ants underneath <laughs> I have azalea there. I forget the color of that. I think it's sangria. Sangria and then this one is corals. And that one there is also sangria. And this one actually here, we don't buy this in the Philippines. We don't grow that. We we try to eliminate this kind. We call this kanding kanding. I think we they call this here vanta. I forget the exact name of that but butterflies love it so I grab some and there is another color it's been raining so hard yesterday so all of that falling um, pine tree so it's beautiful color it's combination of pink orange and yellow so they're beautiful so that's it <laughs> it's not really part of this thing but just wanted to show you so I really like the turf you cannot really see the the seams so we will give you an update a few days after if how they look like it's perfect today because it's overcast it's not really sunny so our turf will do great so now we are here in their office in the North Georgia Turf. Because we order more um, sads. Because we were short last time. And this is actually maybe their farm. Look at that. And guys, it smells so good up here. Oh, it's early morning. No, not early. It's like 10 o'clock. No, 9. 9 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh, look at this. Oh, it smells so good. And it's breezy. Wow. I don't know how big their farm. I don't know if it goes all the way there. <laughs> but it's huge. Yep. It's huge farm. that grass over there it's like whoa it's like carpet that over there wow it's like a golf course <laughs> yep this all play also um, turf for the golf course golf courses So now our car is full of turf. <laughs> so if you want to check this place out guys, that's their contact information there. There. There's they are very nice people and easy to deal with. Starting Hi guys how are you today i'm going to give you some update of the turf that we lay last august 20th and we are now in the second month second month second week of october so i'm gonna give you some update of how they are doing so these are the turf that we got from the north north georgia turf so and uh, we are very pleased with this turf and we are happy that they are they are doing great so i'll show it to you guys so this is the area here that we did all of that and they are very healthy i guess yep they're doing great so this and the 
starts there in the car and it ends here here and that is the um, yard before the grass so yeah these are the turf that we lay me and my husband did that from here going there because it was empty here there are very few grass that was here before but during the construction it just got um destroyed so we just rip everything out and replace it with the turf so yeah this is how they look right now i think they're doing good as you can see they are healthy so yeah so we got this in the north georgia turf so yep <laughs> So this is it guys. Um, I will put in the link below the information of the North Georgia Turf. If you are in case you are here somewhere in North Georgia. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. And once again if you are new here in my channel. Please do subscribe and click that bell of notification. So you will be updated of all our upcoming videos and please do leave your comment below if you have any suggestion in how to lay some turf or if you have any questions so please guys leave it down below and if what can you say about our job <laughs> me and my husband's job so thank you so much guys see you again in my next video bye